Okay. Cool. So, uh, what's the you said if we unless you've got something else on mind the the measure you said that it can be a good idea to know a number. Yeah. Your, yeah. Okay. Um, this sort of gizmo here is is a okay. company Stuart McDonald who is an American guitar luthier supply company. Yeah. And they make this little gizmo here, which is um, an action measuring device with several different ways of measuring the action. The, the one I personally like myself is this one here, yeah. where you've got these little, the marks here, and that's, I'll show you how they work in a yeah. minute, and then there's the numbers that reference how the difference between the line and the bottom of the, uh -huh, the wall, I see. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, these yeah. numbers are in thousandths of an inch, which is a uh, an alien concept to anyone who's probably not over fifty right. years old. Uh, okay. Um, but anyway, they don't offer a metric version. Um, they've got on the back. They've got a conversion chart, uh -huh. fractions to decimal yeah, yeah, okay. to metric, which is quite handy. That's useful. Um, if you don't like that, you can always use the steel rule that is metric. Yeah, yeah, okay. But in some ways, um, for this purpose, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter the, you know, the whether it's metric whether it's or metric, yeah. imperial, what it is. You know, mm -hmm. it's the fact. It's just a number that you have to to reference and and yeah. and, and note down and. So the way this works is kind of like this. That kind of goes there. And what we're looking for, we're going to measure at the 12th fret. So we've still got the cap on, which means that we're really optimizing the height of the string at, at mm -hmm. the first fret and at the nut. And what we've got then, looking for whether so you're the, looking at the, the little, bottom, the, the line, line at, the at the bottom, bottom of the string. Yeah. yeah. Um, on this. You've got about a hundred, okay, which is hundred thou, uh, d -d -d, which is a hundred thou, uh, fine, two and a half, two and a half mil, uh -huh. okay, which is mm, generous in <laughs> in action terms, really. So, so what would most, we want it to be? Um, if you want to be, you know, kind of a, any kind of lead guitar player, it's probably going to want it down one and a half, one and three quarters, one and three quarters, let's say, and then one and a quarter to one and a half on the on the top Mil street, millimeters. Millimeters. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking at, and what we'll try and set is something like fifty thou, and fifty thou on this works out to, uh, yeah about 1.4 so we'll call it 1.4 uh -huh. and on the treble side it's better on the treble side you've got about 80. Okay. So what we and can you'd do, still measure it at the 12th fret even though for beginners we're mostly going to be thinking about playing yeah, it. Yeah still yeah from, it. yeah because yeah, the, 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 the procedure the, the order of events has to be we get the neck relief right. Oh yeah first and, and then, then we worry about the nut and the bridge. And then you know, you could you could adjust the nut at this point, but then if this is way out, then that's going to impact on how much you uh -huh. take off here. So what we need to do now is rough these in a bit right. more. Right. Okay. So. Uh, 